just puts my hand in the air and says, that's easy for me, boys. Crime. <laughs> Crime. I'm a dirty just trucker. Mate. You, mate, bro. I'm a shocker. Oh. Oh. G'day there legends, make sure you go check out my athlete programs, you do get 20% off if you use the code weekly vlog, all of the links are down in the description of this video, best comment can also win a program, let's get into this video. Good morning everybody, what a beautiful day to play football, as you can see, the sun is shining, there is not a cloud in the sky, it's absolutely stunning, we're out um, on the deck, just about to go for a walk down to the beach with the poach. Who is loving life? She's got her lead already. She knows what's about to happen. Coco, where have you gone? You ready to go? Let's go. Now we did get a little bit of rain last night. I did hear it raining at like midnight, um, which I actually love. I love sleeping in the rain. I don't know if anyone else does, but I love it when it's raining um, and I get to sleep. We're, um, yeah, like I said, on our way down to the beach. We love the beach in the morning. The same as every week, I guess. It's probably getting a bit boring just watching the first bit because that's just a routine and that's what a routine is. You stick to it, I guess, and you don't change it. So that's, um, that's what I love about having a good routine, a set routine. It just means that every week I'm doing the same sort of stuff and nothing's out of place for me. I know, I know what I'm gonna do. Um, I guess that's, that's the, the way that gives me the greatest confidence when I play and it's a good thing to get into. God, I'm almost getting killed by leaves, but that's the greatest thing I think to have. <laughs> How good is it that this is literally, the beach is literally just there, so that's how quick it is. Now it is a bit wet underfoot already walking, so hopefully it stays nice and dry. We hopefully the sun can dry it out, so it is a dry game, because we've had too many wet games of uh, wet games in the vlog, so we need to change it up and get some more dry games. Look at that bit muddy there. It's not what we want. This is better. You know the last few game day vlogs when there's been no one down here? It's absolutely packed today. Oh my god. So busy, it's such a nice day and the water is stunning. Holy oh, me. It's literally so nice. Now I wouldn't go for a surf personally on game day because one, you could get injured and two, you do use up a lot of energy. So not for me on game day. Holy shit. Done. Guys, it is dead set the nicest day that I've seen. I was just saying to some people then, it's the nicest day I've seen in like two months probably here. The sun is shining, it's like warm. Great day for footy, um, but it's absolutely fantastic. Dog and I were just going out to the beach. The water was, again, amazing, stunning. Um, the, it wasn't too cold or anything as well, which is great. So, like I said, sticking to my routine. Oh, always the best way to go about it. I'm gonna go home, shave and um, sort out my hair as well. Take you through a little bit of the hair care routine. And um, yeah, keep strong. All right, so with my hair, you guys probably know that I do like to change it up every now and then with a little bit of different designs. So this side I like to um, cut down. I do do it all myself with my Manscaped products. Cut down and um, do a little track there as well. And then the other side I like to do two tracks at the top. That's pretty much what I do. Um, let's see how we go. Fingers crossed, it looks all right. All right, here you go. That's one side, I do it every week. And then this is the other side. So I do two lines at the top, and then two lines on the bottom. Pretty much it. <laughs> let's go, baby. We got spinach on bread. Here we go, a little bit of scrambled eggs, a little bit of bacon, and also some fresh tomatoes. 
Ladies and gents, this is the breakfast for today. We are missing potato rosties, which is sad, but oh my god, look at this shit. Looks delicious. Tunes are pumping. Place is going crazy. Coco's not that keen. We're gonna munch this up. It looks absolutely delicious. I've also shaved as well. Shaved, done the hair, everything. Look good, play good, feel good. Got the tomorrow skincare on the face as well, so you know that we are feeling absolutely 10 out of 10. The weather's still amazing. The song is quieting down. Guys, I cannot wait for today. It's gonna be such a good game. Um, if you didn't know, it is second on the ladder. They're second on the ladder. We are third on the ladder, so it's second versus third. It's gonna be a massive game for the club. Let's go. All right, in the car, on our way to Brendale. It's about an hour and a half trip. We should be there um, at about 12.30. Uh, and then it's game time, baby. Let's go. Alrighty guys, here we are. We are done for the morning. The twos are just uh, finished at half time. They're down by 25 points, which is not good, but that's all right. It looks a bit windy, but the ground looks perfect. Let's get to it. Alrighty guys, you guys have been absolutely loving the commentary, so I'm going to keep doing it. Keep talking you through what I'm doing, what I'm thinking during the games, and basically take you behind the scenes of what happens during every game. We've got a little bit of the change room sort of stuff here. Uh, a couple of boys just being idiots here. Uh, this is Willow Dwyer, absolute guard, absolute legend. Um, yeah, now let me know if you guys like a bit of the change room sort of stuff um, because I don't know, like it's a little bit distracting for me and maybe for some of the other boys as well. So I don't know if we want to keep doing it, but it was good to get a little bit of change room sort of stuff this week and see if you guys enjoy it um, going forward, I guess. But like I said, it does get a little bit distracting with, with the cameras in there before the game. I like to just um, focus on the game and not think too much about the vlogs. Obviously, it can be a little bit difficult sometimes. Um, you've got people shouting at you, is this going on your vlog kind of thing. But generally, when I'm out in the field, I'm not really thinking about it at all. I'm just thinking about playing footy. I'm just keeping it um, all in my head. This is Jane O, our fantastic team manager. What an absolute darling she is. Had my jumper. I like to have um, a couple of Nurofen before the game and obviously some Gatorade as well. So that high GI food, that high GI drink, it's a little bit easier to digest than food. So that's why um, I'm having high GI Gatorade before a game. Now, I forgot to bring my warm-up jersey actually this week. So I am running out in my full kit, full kit wanker, um, running out to, uh, to, to do the warm-up in, which is all right. Can't look great all the time. Uh, I can't. Some boys do it anyway, but yeah, I don't know what I was thinking there. Um, the warm up, I'm not like, I'm not taking the warm up at 100% because every single warm up, because I know that, like, just save your energy for the game, bro. You only have that much energy, kind of thing. Like, you don't need to um, waste it all during the, uh, all during the warm up. So you don't need to go crazy. Obviously, be up and about, but you don't have to go like ridiculously, like 100% because you just save that for the game. And you don't want to um, waste too much of your time, I guess, um, on that. Started off the game um, at full forward, which I actually prefer to start in the midfield, but that's all right. I was, came off in the first five minutes, um, straight off, and then into the midfield after that. So um, we started okay. They, there was a massive wind, as you can already tell. One of our best players, Tom Templeton, VFL-level player, did his bicep in the first five minutes of the game which wasn't good for us. Um, make sure we, that you're always trying to defend the corridor as much as you possibly can. Was back into the midfield here, um, trying to get, now what we're trying to do here is kind of get the ball out of defense slowly because we're kicking against the wind. So we're trying to kind of um, hit the shorts. I'm getting around my mate Aaron Wilson here, one of his, the bloke that he's playing on, kick the first two goals. So make sure you're always getting around your, uh, getting around your teammates as much as you possibly can. Um, a few handballs here, back and forth. A little bit of close action of the game. So you can see that it, it is really hot in there. And they are um, absolutely just pressure acts so much. So as you can see here, even I, I was really struggling with, um, with how much time I had. And even though I was playing in the midfield, I was getting back in defense a lot because we were kicking against the wind. So we we're trying to drop a couple back. Um, and then every time you get it, either kick long or kick towards the boundary. 
make sure you're getting around your teammates at all times as well, trying to get them up and about. Um, the first quarter, there honestly wasn't that much going on. A few hard ball gets here and there. Um, nice little handball out here to fit. But by the end of the first quarter, now they did have the win with that quarter, um, and it was two to 22 they were beating us. So we're coming in at quarter time pretty high on spirits. Um, I get a high tackle here at the start of the of the second quarter where I am starting as a winger. So I have been moved around a fair bit to start off. And I've gone back here, I know what my routine is and the wind has just, it, I actually kicked it so perfectly, like exactly where I wanted to. And um, yeah, unfortunately, it, the wind just took it away, which was, um, which was not what we wanted. So wind took it away. Now we've got a fair bit of back and forth here. The, Opposition bench absolutely feeding me, saying, oh, you're a flog, mate, you're a wanker, whatever. I'm happy for it during the game. I love it. But the best thing about it is it gets me up and about. So as soon as that happened, I was like, far out, I need to prove myself. Next contest I'm in, run forward, and thank the Lord, get our first goal on the board. It was 34 to 4 at this stage, so we were staying a four behind. Even with um, without the win, they were still um, getting around it. I'm still kicking goals, and I was angry. I was just... You, you've got to fuel whatever people are doing to you, and this really got me into the game. You've got to fuel whatever people are doing to you um, to use, like I said, use as fuel, use as energy to get yourself up and about. Another clearance here, just trying to get it forward, and then look at this spread. So I'm spreading as fast as I can to where the next contest is, to where the ball is, get the next ball, and then get it in forward. Like I said, your mindset gets you into the game. So if you can get into the mindset of just working hard and like if you can hold that same mindset for all three hours or two hours of your game and then then you're going to be um, you know in a way better way better headspace to play the game. Love to wheel around my left when I'm on the left side. They miss a kick here. Um, luckily, this is all in the space of like three minutes. Kick inside, play on, not 15. Uh, my little boy EJ, Ethan Johnston, Dramana, um, he gets a high tackle, goes back and slots the goal. Um, but like I said, it's real hot in there. It's uh, tackle after tackle. Another little clearance here, clearing kick. It is hard to see. It's a little bit, um, the game did get played a little bit on the other side. Surprise, I didn't get a high tackle here. Unfortunately, the, um, the umpire was on the wrong side of it. Back with the fly here, just trying to make a contest. I was just... I was mad. I was so angry that I was just getting, um, you know, so much abuse from the from the opposition. Another tackle um, on the on the bench. It was from like 14 year olds, 15, 16 year olds. That I was like, you guys probably follow me. So it's like, whatever. But again, another clearance, another high tackle here. Um, and then unfortunately, the sign went. Uh, had to go for goal, obviously, with the wins probably could have done better but that's all right I don't know what was going to happen um, there and uh, yeah there you go half time 23 to 38 so we're still in this game Redlands are second on the ladder they're a fantastic team they've got a heap of NEFL um, X NEFL X VFL players in their side so they are a very very strong side and that is something that we did know coming into the game so I think that we just um, again just the twos and the Colts from Redlands were absolutely giving it to me on the sidelines. But that was all right. Like I said, during the game, fine. Go for it. it uh, if anything, it fuels me. So um, I really enjoy it. Tried to claim the mark here. Probably uh, didn't get first hands to it, but did try to claim it. And then probably got a high tackle. Um, didn't even duck for that one. But I've got the Jack Ginnivan, um, I don't know, treatment at the moment. They, they don't want to give me any high tackle free kicks which was unfortunate, but that's all right. Then started in the midfield and then pretty much went down deep forward again to try and give us a goal or something. Um, but yeah, it wasn't really, the ball wasn't coming down there, especially against the wind. So, and then they just started to get on top of us here, guys. They just started to really run with it. I think it was about 50 to 23 at this stage. And, they, and I was so, I was so frustrated. I was like, this is, you know, we're, I know that we're a better football side than this. Um, and yeah, unfortunately, we just weren't getting it done. If you can't get possession of the ball, at least try and tap it to your teammate's advantage as much as you possibly can. Manning up on one of my um, good friends, Jack Rolls, here. He is, uh, spent a fair bit of time last year at our house. He actually lived with us when we had a COVID break um, at our house for the Aspley v VFL team. Um, he actually spent 14 days in quarantine at our house, which was quite funny. Um, a very good man and a very good footballer, absolutely towered us up. 
um, unfortunately, on the weekend. Just trying to, again, get it long down the line. The wind did start to um, start to die off a little bit. Probably didn't hit that kick the way that I wanted to. Um, and uh, like I said, 66 to 29 here. Like, we are just getting absolutely... That, and like we're still in it, we're still in it, luckily. But um, there, yeah, like I said, 66 to 29, we're struggling. But the wind, the wind kind of died off in the last quarter, which was unfortunate. Um, obviously, you do get this was a really good toss to win. You definitely get an advantage of it here, down to full forward for the final quarter. Just trying to do whatever I can. Could have almost been another high tackle free kick, but uh, didn't get it. Probably didn't make. Um, con contact with me high enough. If you want to be, um, if you want to try and get on the end of things, you've got to run super, super quick. Um, unfortunately, Joshy Wallace just missed me with this kick, but this is a really good leading pattern. Make sure you got that space out in front of you. Maybe you could have dived at it, but that's all right. The good thing is when I go for it, there's usually two or three that come with me, so it does leave a lot of space behind me. Um, terrible handball here, obviously. By the last quarter, it was just, you know, we were just getting pants. Uh, they would just hold their space so much better on the inside and on the outside. And unfortunately, um, we we just couldn't come back. And like us, this is a really good goal as well by Charlie uh, Charlie Bowers, absolute superstar. Um, good on him for kicking that snag. You would love that. But yeah, like I said, it was tough. Will could have handballed it over here and didn't hit the post. That's all right. Can't win them all. I was a bit sad about that, but that's all right. Um, and again. Get that tease distance right here, just going for a spoil, still trying to work uh, my way through it. But there, there you go. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the job done. The full-time score was 44 Noosa to 85 Redlands. We ended up um, with 24 and 10 tackles and a goal, which is okay, but unfortunately didn't get the choppies. We fall to six and three in the season and we are officially third on the ladder. That was a tough loss, there's no doubt about that. Um, I haven't really planned what I'm gonna say here, so um, hopefully it comes out all right. Um, yeah, tough loss, didn't quite, didn't play the way that we wanted to, probably didn't play the way that I wanted to. It was um, it was a tough game and they just held their space a little bit better and um, and won the uncontested ball so much better than us and probably won the contested ball. They, they were just much better, it was humbling. Um, probably for us and really good for our season because it puts us back in the headspace that we um, need to be in, that we're not yet there. So that was second verse third. I think we're versing third, well, who's fourth or who's third next week. So it's going to be a really big game as well. Definitely humbling um, for us um, at the end of the day. And that's what happens in footy. You can't win them all at the end of the day. Um, when I was, uh, during the game, copying a whole heap of, a whole heap of abuse, which is fine. During the game, great. I, I would do the same thing if I was on the sideline. I, I think that that's the best way to put people off. So, um, go for it when, when I'm on the field. When the game's done and it's all over and then you're walking off and then people are throwing things at you or still throwing abuse at you. I think that is a state. Once the siren's gone, it's it's done. Like you don't need to keep going. So that was after the game. It was a little bit full on, and even like I said, I told him to get get stuffed back to the crowd. I said, you know, there's no point to to do it after the game. And even our coach ended up going over to to the supporters and stuff and said, you know, it's. And I think it's just a thing. Like it's just a respect thing. Like during the game, fine, go for it, hundred percent. Put anyone off that you want. When the siren's gone, it's done. You celebrate with your team and your, you know, your teammates or you know whoever you're with. But there's no need to um, to go at the other team that's lost after the game. It, it's a respect thing. And now, you know, the people were, were a bit younger, so they probably don't understand quite the morals of of, of respect and all that sort of stuff. But um, just for anyone else out there that either watches footy or or plays it. Um, I think that that's just a really important respect thing that everybody needs to get through their head. Um, thank you so much for watching the vlogs. I really appreciate it. Keep watching them. Um, hopefully we can get our season back on track next week. Um, but like I said, make sure you subscribe, like the video as well. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. I really appreciate the love. Um, you know, keep being, oh, 
God, I've stuffed that up. Stay sexy, legends. I love you. Thank you so much.